And suspects detected in Ashgabat. Um, yeah, I don't have another ship, another vehicle right now. Okay. Equip craft. Anything else that we want to put on board? Sure, an axe and a machete. Why not? Alright, you just got back. Just landed, but, uh... You gotta go out again. I would really like to get to the, uh, the van. Uh, we are still at an unknown on basic operations, which is, uh, rather annoying. Hey, Richie Spaceman, how's it going? Is it a silly place like Camelot? Um, I, I don't know, you'd probably have to ask some Iranians. Well, it is going to be a day mission. Alright, let's go ahead and save again. We are still starting now. I mean, it's only the 7th of January. Boy, you guys have been on a bunch of missions, and it's only one week. So no singing, then? Well, I don't know. We'll see. Um, members of an illegal organization, the Red Dawn. Maybe they'll be singing? I don't know that they'll be singing in the rain here, though. Okay, what else can we uh, take? Uh, do do do. That's going to be too heavy. Could take the club, but I don't really know how good it is. It doesn't do much. I don't think there's really much else to take at this point. Um, yeah, we're doing okay. We are in the corner, which is very nice. And it is another industrial map. Alright, well, we've seen a guy start out in one of these places, so let's go ahead and get you over here. Oh, hi. Okay. He has a club and a pistol. Holy crap, seven days, yep. <laughs> so now the question is, can I get Eriyaru someplace, uh... safe? I... can. Uh, well, you took a little bit of damage there, Captain Arayaru, but, um, you're okay. You're alive. You, you, no fatal wounds. <laughs> At least this guy won't have any, uh, turn units left. Hey, Pharaoh of Gaming, I'm sorry that you're sad today. Get you over here. So that guy has a gun, which means it'll be a little bit more difficult to take him alive. Sounds like he went in there. Hard to say. Um, might be able to sneak around that way, but that's kind of iffy. That is pretty open, though. Not liking that. Oh, and you've got sight on that guy there. Might be the same guy, but that's pretty far to move. I don't think that's the same guy. Do 
Do you have a shot on him? I don't know. Let's get you down here for now. Bunch of doors. Don't see any doors there. Open. Nothing there. Nothing there. Doesn't look like we can get out on that roof. I do not like the utter lack of uh, cover. Really do not like the uh, the lack of cover. These will kind of offer some cover. Well, let's see what happens. Let's crouch down, see if uh, you've got a sight on anyone. Okay. There's a guy right there. Pistol and a... Uh, the club. Aimed shot only 27%. You can use that. That is true. Yes, you're right. I do forget about that. No line of fire there. Alright. So he could shoot at me, but uh, I could not shoot at him. And that door has been closed, which either means someone is walking around... Yeah, someone's walked by it. I don't like that. Alright, get back behind there. Aimed shot. Ten whole percent. Your own. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Okay, not seeing anyone. Well, I can get in here. Let's go ahead and uh, duck down there. And in fact, I think Aroyaru. All the agents are used to be cloned. <laughs> yeah, let's get over there. Okay, we got someone uh, coming up this way. He just has a machete. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and get down. Where was the other guy? That guy and that guy. ammo does that guy have, I wonder? I'm perfectly fine, like, having him use up all of his ammo if it means that we don't get hit. I want this guy to come towards us. Uh, 
No line of fire. So I can see that guy, but I have no line of fire. What if I get here? That's that guy. I mean, I know him. Go with smaller profiles. Okay, no fatal wounds. You did get, you did take another uh, flesh wound there. But uh, let's see if I can get in. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I know that. Yeah, zero percent. Well, I hit you once. This will try it again. Well, that's not good. Alright. Aim shot. He's down and bleeding. Of course, Mr. Wolverine DK is, uh, very exposed now. He, uh, he didn't do anything. Alright, that's good. Line of fire. That works. And we got a live enemy captured again. One and two uh, turn units. Uh, one and five stamina. Five stamina. Nice. Uh, one and two hit points. One reaction on Arayaru. Three accuracy on Arayaru. One strength on Mr. Wolverine. Two strength on Arayaru. Seven readiness. And three readiness. Loot wise, we got uh, we got a Makarov and a Makarov clip, a Red Dawn Ganger, a Bill Hook, and a Wooden Club. Okay, Ariaru is battle scarred. Combat injuries are painful lessons to anyone who survives it. Not only to their brain, but also their entire body. Each level increases health by one. First award. Okay. Multiple successful missions so far. Chupacabra Gore Pile. A family was found dead in their house in Addis Ababa. Their half-eaten corpses were dragged onto a pile and covered with a layer of slime. The bite marks point to chupacabras, but we don't know why the creatures took the effort to arrange their remains like this. The council seems rather spooked by this morbid display of alien behavior. Minus 66 points. Oh goody. Oh goody. Always nice to get uh, points. I think that's, like, stuff that we weren't able to take care of or something like that. Blame your injury on uh, poor HR management. There's basic operations. I have assembled the finest operations team. I'm sure you will find them useful, Commander. Please check your reports. I think they already have some groundbreaking ideas. Uh, I mean, if you say so. Okay, we can now research XCOM Dogs, Cover Sportsman, and Crowbar Acquisition. That is not what I wanted. Okay, well, let's uh, start getting some of these people. Researched. And personal protection is pretty important, so let's get two onto that. Uh, I'm not sure at this point where, uh, or when we get, uh, the, the van. So, for now, I think we may... May get the Mud Ranger, since I'm thinking about getting one. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Got our Mud Ranger. 
equip craft. All right, who wants to be the pilot of the Mud Ranger One? It's just uh, random events happening around the world outside of your control, not related to your actions for the most part. Oh, I figured it was uh, like a an event that we didn't detect or something. Um, Ariari, you can't you can't pilot. You're 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 a person. Uh, use middle. Click on research topic. All right. I'll go uh, take a look at that. Yep. All right. That's... Uh, leads to... I'm specifically looking for... Yeah, all right. None of those lead to it, so I guess I just don't get it yet. All right. Also, my other machine with the, uh... The chat window is having some issues. Because of course it is. I don't know, it probably needs another reboot. It is an old machine. Alright, let's see what we get. Actually, let's see if, uh, you are in... Yeah, you are in, uh... You're wounded for two days there, Eriyaru. We'll see if you uh, come out of it before we get our next uh, event, though. Just let some time pass. Renting company uh, just has just one car. We can't send out two cars. Well, we can actually send out two cars. I just want a van. Down by the river. <laughs> Research completed. Black Lotus follower. These low-ranking members of the Black Lotus are fanatically loyal to the cult and well-trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat, though they also use firearms. They are recruited from various countries and social groups and still live their normal lives as not to expose their cover, but resemble monks more than ordinary citizens. Uh, apart from many poetical forms of worship, they possess little useful information, but their devotion to the Black Lotus is more than enough reason to apprehend them. We have a dossier on Renel... Rene? I don't know how that would be pronounced. Diolata, Role Enforcer, Affiliation Black Lotus. Uh, details, she was one of the top guns of the AFP. One day... Oh, it's a he. Whoops. Uh, one day he found his family dead at their house, and the only clue found was an... AFP cap. Out of anger, he wiped out the military installation where he once served. He is now in league with the Black Lotus. Status, Interpol notified. Uh, is this mod uh, modded? This is modded. This is uh, um, the, oh, uh, the XCOM files mod. Rena L? Okay. Uh, we can now research Black Lotus network. Uh, let's get, uh, medicine continued to work on, though. Longy. Reniel? Or Reniel? I don't know. Strange life form. Uh, down in the mountains near Chile in Argentina. Okay, Ariaru is, uh out of the uh, infirmary. I don't think that we can uh, do the uh, the Mud Ranger yet. So, anyone uh, anyone want to be the pilot of the Mud Ranger? I've not seen anyone say so yet. We've got one Makarov, one Makarov clip, so we're not taking that. And I think I am going to uh, purchase a few more other things. Some more uh, Glocks would be good. Some more Berettas would be good. Some more Taser Shock Clips. 
we can get some more uh, shotguns as well. Let Malroth fly us? Okay. Malroth is a pilot of the Mud Ranger. I don't think that we can uh, send that out. I think that's going to be too far. Uh, I will try it. That would be uh, lots of training for all of you, equipment wise. Uh, two med packs. Two of everything like that. Let's get some electro flares. Some flashlights. Well, I kind of need to wait until everything comes in, so let's not do that yet. I guess we'll go with the, uh, with the car. Actually, let me, uh, let me see. Well, it'll let me target it, but I don't know that it has the range. Crop circles reported. Okay, that one we could take the uh, the Mud Ranger on. That is definitely within range. That is all that we have weapon-wise. <laughs> We're going to have some people uh, armed with melee stuff, it looks like. Uh, sure, more electric clubs. Why not? You should put one of the agents to pilot Malroth. It does give some benefits, at least in some mod, mod packs. Um... Approach speed... All right, looks like uh, they're already set as pilots. Accuracy bonus, dodge bonus, approach speed is all that we would care about. That actually takes away the, uh, the accuracy bonus. Alright, just put the first three people in, why not? Uh, accuracy and dodge bonuses don't matter for this. Because it's just a transport vehicle. Intercept by the Malroth. Old crop circles. Some crop circle circles were, were reported, but apparently our opponents got to them before we even learned of them. Whatever had been there to uncover, it is now beyond our grasp. Forever. Minus 33 points. Alright, that's just a random event. It's not the, uh, the one there. It's low on fuel, returning to base. Okay. Wow, I did not realize that the uh, range was that bad. I guess we're uh, probably not going to be doing that one. I see why, why now why no one gets that. Red Dawn Ganger. Gangers are the lowest ranking members of Red Dawn. While not particularly well trained, they have excellent reflexes, strength, and stamina, which upon further investigation proves to be due to artificial enhancement. In exchange for their services, gangers are promised physical might and a share of the spoils of war, whatever that is. Gangers generally operate in cities and are easy to mistake for common thugs, but they are usually supervised by more knowledgeable and better equipped Red Dawn members. Okay. Staff input, wisdom, and insight. Commander, I have witnessed the interrogation of our recent captive. We didn't get much out of them, but I think I have understood something important about life. 
There is no such thing as a free beating. Red Dawn Network, Red Dawn Bio Enhancement. Let's get to non-standard infiltrators worked on. Okay, so... Yeah, the Mud Ranger, no good. That's that's not worth it. Like, there would have to be something right outside for us to uh, be able to use. I think we're going to have to get another car. Press X to de-equip everything. Okay. Yeah, that worked. Thank you. Uh, don't they use public transportation? Did a 747 run low on fuel? No, so the Mud Ranger uh, is a an amphibious transport uh, vehicle. Uh, it's not public transport. So, let's go ahead and sell the Malroth. Purchase Recruit, Public Car. Lost a little bit of money. Alright, Tidal Rabbit and Canis Rufus UK. You will be uh, on board that. All right, so um, two electric clubs, uh, a bunch of taser pistols. We'll take the uh, the Colt and the Glock. Uh, med pack, medical bag, first aid, electro flares just in case, flashlights. Shotguns. Did you just drive over the Atlantic? Yes, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> uh, let's see. Why not take these things as well? Just in case. Why not? Tidal Rabbit's driving it. This is the uh, two cell two. Electric boogaloo. All right, intercept with that one. All right, see you, Poopinel. Thanks for stopping by. Ooh, landing site. Nope. We're going for that. That is going to be extremely deadly. Go ahead and patrol. I don't think we'll get there in time, but I, I can hopefully redirect. Oh my lord. Yep. Let's begin the mission. Landing site one. We are so dead. Daytime, so I don't need to worry about uh, too much. Take a spare clip. Take a spare clip. Now oh, that's kind of heavy. Uh, Canis Rufus UK can actually carry quite a bit. In fact, then in that case, take that one. Take that. 
and that. What is that? What is the sectoid doing uh, up on the third floor? So, we have two people to take on a landed UFO. Don't see where the landed UFO is, but, uh... We're... we're probably screwed. Nice that they actually have this, uh, higher than just four. Six... Third floor mischief, what else? Clearly so. Not enough time units. Can we do a snapshot? Yes, we can. Didn't help much. Well, at least they're bad shots. I'm going to guess that they're both dead now. Wow! Canis Rufus UK took a little bit of damage, but not much. You know what? Not enough time units. I'm not actually sure if we're hitting. Oh goody, mind control. Title Rabbit has been killed. Alright. Let's uh let's try this again. We know that there is someone out that way. <laughs> that railing protects. I know! And me, I wanted railing kills. It's so rude that it would not give me railing kills. Howdy DNA, how's it going? Alright, so... How does one get up there, anyway? So we know that there is someone down that way. Let's run. Yeah, that's not a, a door. Yep. I know he's there. <laughs> I'm trying to ignore him. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, we saw someone come out of a door somewhere. XCOM, the only game where you can stand right in front of the enemy and still not hit it. Well... To be fair, I wasn't standing right in front of the enemy. Alright, there's a stairway over there. That is... that is really exposed. There's the uh, UFO, though. to four enemies on this size UFO. So that's two to four chances for them to murder me. Just... Alright, just, uh... Wiggle your way back and forth up there, why don't you? So that's where the stairs are. And they're over there. Ow! Don't even see where he is. Ah! 
Okay, that doesn't work. All right, is there another way to do this? Um, can you get all the way over there? No, you can't. This uh, this this alien right here is uh, really really problematic. Um, I should have saved right before that and uh, changed the so I could change the equipment. Just stating the obvious about this great game. Yeah. Uh, well. How about snapshot time? 59%. Who knew that railings were such great protectors? Right? Well, that was just instantaneous. There is a, probably a very good chance that we are not going to succeed here. But, that offers some protection. Did you destroy... You destroyed the, uh... Oops. In Battle 2. He destroyed the uh, uh, railing right in front of him. That might give me a greater chance of killing him. No, it doesn't. Maybe if I position myself a little bit differently. Um. Hmm... Did you miss much in the last 40 minutes? Well, you've missed uh, uh, Tidal Rabbit and Canis Rufus UK dying multiple times to uh, sectoids. So I think, like, getting up here is way, way, way too dangerous with that guy up there. And I honestly have no idea what better way to do this unless I do this. Let's try that. Well, I hit. He's, uh... He's not bleeding, though. Alright. No, that's not gonna work. Get back there. Room-to-room -room shotgun's not an option? Not really. Not really. Okay, well, I can get back that way. I mean, all I have at this point is the starting equipment. He is still there. Let's leave him up there for now. Yes, I know he's there. Nothing out that way. So I don't think there's any way up other than these uh, very exposed staircases. And to be honest, shotguns are probably not the best... Uh, um, the best weapons for this. Uh, this game definitely uses music from other things. There is Fallout music in this, for example.
Get on to uh, reserving for an aimed shot. There we go. Well, we briefly saw something, but I don't know what it was or where it was. Well, he came down. There's still a guy up there. Hmm. Is the game using MP3 files as music, or is it using tracker music modules? I have no idea. This music is from Alien Shooter. Oh, there you go. Alright, so. Uh, we know you up there, and you're in a really bad place. Almost impossible to get to. You, on the other hand, not exactly an easy one to get to, um, either. Let's see if there's anything inside here. No one's inside here. Well, there's a power source. I'm in their ship, can't I just fly it away? Okay, that guy is in the same position. That guy is... He's just sitting there. Which does mean that I could potentially get up there. There's a door that's opened there. I don't like that. I don't know if there are any uh, humans on this map. <laughs> Maybe you need the UFO keys. Let's get back onto uh, aim shot. Okay, well that was uh, unfortunate. Um, auto battlescape. Yeah, there we go. All right. Okay, so there is someone over here who had sight. It's fine. Only two people. Only two people. All I have are cars right now. Well, and the, uh, the Mud Ranger, which just has awful, awful range. Don't think you can fight aliens until much later? Well, I have a, a save so that I can take off again, but, uh... I'm okay with trying it for now. I mean, why not, right? I can bugger out if need be. Alright, Canis. Let's get you up here. All right, there is a, a guy right there. They are just all over this uh, uh, apartment complex. Look, we're just looking for a new place to stay, all right? Is that so wrong? Oh, that didn't work.
That didn't work. They have blocked me off from my car. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Give them all ham. Okay, they've moved. Although I should be uh, reserving the time units and I have forgotten to do that. Wait and cover until they come close, then blast them? Well, that's part of the problem, is that I don't really know when they're going to come close. But yeah, I mean, that's kind of my plan-ish? Mind control's not really doing a whole lot, at least. Does it still have the turn 20 thing? I don't actually know. I don't actually know. Alright, let's just, uh... Take two steps forward there. Get back onto that. We saw something. Uh, turn 20 is when the aliens automatically know where you are. Oh, hi! This guy is still standing right there. Ninety-two percent? Well, that didn't work out so well. Let's try that again. Right, I should have saved it uh, a little bit ago. So this guy hasn't moved. These flowers seem to act as some sort of uh, protection. Some aliens here have Psy Vision, so they already know where you are once you approach them. Yay! Yay! Um, the one up here didn't seem to really move much either. Let's see if they come around the corner. I'm getting flashes over here for some reason. He is still there, alright? He is not still there. Come back there, all right. Mm 
Alright, what is the chance that I can come that way, I wonder? Let's find out. Oh. Oh. Uh. Yeah, bad idea. Bad idea. Let's see what happens. Can I get in here? I can see you. They're all in this section. All right, let's see what happens. Maybe go up the stairs and shoot from there. Uh, no, there was a guy right up here kind of, like, overwatching. I think all four of them are in this apartment block. Oops. And that guy is right there, but I don't have the, uh, turn units. See what happens. Get right there, and okay, so I can see that guy. Hey, Bahamut Zero Dragon. They've rented a few of those apartments. Just bad luck that their UFO doesn't have legal parking spot. <laughs> yeah, see, this guy's just up here watching. He is uh, going to be a pain in the butt to try to get from uh, get anyone over in that area. Okay, not there. Taking some Psy attacks. Okay, there's that guy. Wish I'd equipped people with pistols. Now that guy is there. And that guy is just, uh, standing there, which is kind of frustrating, because he is just, like, guarding that spot, and I cannot get close to him. I would love to take one of these guys alive. I don't think that's going to happen. It's turn 20. Yeah, I think that uh, if they hit, they kill, and if we're close enough, that I, I think I'm just going to um, go back here and lift off. So I believe that there is someone down here who will shoot. This guy has full sight on this area. I think we're just going to go. nothing else that we can really do about that. And I can't go do the crop circles. Oh well.